Coyote MIDI extends the functionality of your MIDI devices to include keystrokes, mouse clicks, macros, and MIDI translations. There's also a retrospective recorder that is always recording the MIDI activity of your device. These recordings can be dragged out of Coyote MIDI into your DAW or simply saved for later like a sketchbook of ideas. Licensed users of Coyote MIDI Pro will gain access to a scripting system that lets you create complex macros to fully customize and automate your workflow. Coyote MIDI's flexible internal routing means you have full control over which devices are being listened to and what messages pass through unaffected by translations. The installer for Coyote MIDI can be downloaded from coyotemidi.com. The installer downloads as a zip file and will need to be extracted first. Once extracted, run the Coyote MIDI installer.msi file to begin the installation process. After agreeing to the end user license agreement and completing the installation steps, a shortcut will be placed on the desktop. Coyote MIDI can be launched either with the shortcut or by running the coyotemidi.exe file in the installation directory. When Coyote MIDI launches for the first time, it may take a moment for the app to fully become visible. Coyote MIDI will automatically look for updates and install them by default if there are any available. This means that you may see some download activity after launching the app. You can disable this auto download feature from the settings tab. There are a number of settings to customize Coyote MIDI's behavior to suit your preference. Before creating your translations, navigate to the MIDI tab on the settings page. It's important to make sure you have checked the devices you'd like to use with Coyote MIDI. The logo at the top left of the Coyote MIDI window will light up blue if it detects messages from your device. To set up your translations, navigate to the translations page. Click add translation in the top right corner. This will display two large buttons with an arrow in the middle. The button on the left represents the input message that will trigger the translation, while the right button represents the output that will be performed. Clicking the left button will begin listening mode as indicated by the red text. Perform your MIDI event or keystroke and click once more to exit listening mode. You can do the same for the output button on the right. When hovering over a translation, more options will appear. This includes a drag handle for reordering your translations in a list, a menu expander for revealing advanced translation options, a checkbox for activating or deactivating translations, and a trash icon for deleting translations. In the expanded options of the translation, you can manually change each parameter of your input and output messages and access additional settings to control the behavior of your translation, such as selecting a specific device to listen to, program exclusivity, and more. On the recording page, you'll see the recordings of your most recent MIDI activity. Hovering over a recording will show additional controls, allowing you to save clips as favorites and even play them back using real piano samples. These MIDI recordings can be dragged from Coyote MIDI into other applications, such as a DAW, just like regular MIDI files.